Work was hectic today. I need to get home as soon as possible to get some rest. Who could it be? Oh no, my mom. Not today too. I am tired of her nags. I will be in trouble if I don't pick up this call. Diana, why a delay in picking up my calls? Mom, I was a little busy. Forgive me, please. Okay, you are forgiven. I am coming over to your place. Why, Mom? Why? Can't I visit my daughter anymore? It has been long since I saw you. Mom, but you visited my place just last week. And the food you prepared is still in the fridge. I couldn't finish it over the week. Don't worry, I am not coming over because of food. We need to have a serious talk. I will be busy this week. Please mom, can you visit some other time? Besides dad needs you at home. Diana, I know you don't want me to come over, but I am already at your gate. Hurry home and come and open the gate for me. What? But mom. No buts, I am waiting for you. Oh no, this woman is going to kill me. I know what she wants to talk about. I am tired of her raising the same topic over and over again. I am already exhausted. She is probably going to remind me of how single I have been all my life. I know how much she loves and cares about me. But she has to understand that God's time is the best. Oh no, so this woman was serious when she said she was at the gate. Oh, Diana, you are home. Yes, mom. You are welcome, my daughter. Thank you, mom. Did you come alone? Yes, mom. Are you expecting someone? Well, I thought he came with you. A he? Why a man, mom? Never mind. Can we go in now? Sorry, mom. Let's go in. Mom, can I get you something? What will you take? Dear Diana, I know my way around this house. Don't worry, I will serve myself when the need arises. Okay, Mom. What is it this time around? Diana, I won't beat about the bush. When are you going to marry? You know you are not a kid anymore. Twenty-nine years of age. Just this Saturday, my friend, Mummy Sylvia's daughter, got married. You are five years older, but you have refused to marry. Mom, enough of this. I am tired of all this. I am tired of you comparing me to your friend's daughters. There is time for everything. God's time is the best. Mom, you know Jacob in the Bible had to wait for fourteen years before he got married to the love of his life. Mom what about Hannah and Sarah? It might seem I am wasting time waiting for the will of God. But I assure you, Mom, that he will make everything beautiful in his own time. Diana, I am your mom and I know delay when I see one. Your father and I took very good care of you and your siblings with every penny we got. And see you now, you are blessed by God in all ways, both spiritually and physically. You are rich, you have your own company, an apartment, and a car. What else are you waiting for? You are the only daughter among your five brothers. All your brothers are married with their own kids. Although those kids are my grandchildren, they will definitely be closer to maternal grandparents than us. Please do this one thing that I ask of you. Marry and bear me grandchildren. And don't forget I know the Bible more than you. Some examples cited in the Bible are meant to admonish and tell us about some past events. 
Please, dear, think about what I have said. I have heard all that you have said. I came back home so tired, Mom. Let me go and freshen up so I can rest. Sorry, dear, don't stress too much. You can go, I will set the table. Thank you, Mom, I love you. Yes, Lydia. Madam Diana, the CEO of Transit Oil Company is here to see you. I thought you said it was his assistant that would be coming. Yes, I said that, but it is rather fortunate that he himself wants to meet you. Okay, that is fine. Let him in. Welcome, Mr. Collins. Thank you, Mrs. Diana. I was surprised when I heard you came yourself instead of your personal assistant. Yes, although I was busy, I decided to come meet you myself. This partnership is also important. Yeah, you are right. The soft copy of the original document has been forwarded to your email account. Oh, that's brilliant. When the original copy was sent to me, after I reviewed it, I knew I made the right decision in our partnership deal. It is going to profit both companies a lot. Yes, I agree with you. It would be a great lie if I told you that is the only reason for coming here. What is the other reason? Well, I wanted to see for myself the female CEO who is making the headlines in this country. I must say, you are such a beauty. Well, I really want to get to know you behind business matters. Can we meet someday? Okay. Thank you, Mr. Collins. I certainly know that. Mr. Collins, I am such a busy woman, but I will think about it. I will wait for your call. I would like to take my leave now. Okay, Mr. Collins. Who did you say you met today again? Mr. Collins, the CEO of Transit Oil Company. Wow, why didn't you call me? Why should I? Don't you know the man that came to your office today? He is the talk of the town. He is one of the richest bachelors in this country. Wow, I am so surprised. I know you don't care. So, what did he say? A whole lot. Which part do you want to know? Did he ask you out? Yes, something like that. Really? What did you say? What were you expecting me to say? Maybe, agreeing to it. Well, I didn't. Paula, did we meet here to talk about Mr. Collins? I have better things to attend to. And I don't want to miss church as well. No, not at all. It will be really nice if you go out with him. I heard he is really nice, gentle and loving. Why don't you open up to him? No thanks. But on the more serious note, when are you going to get married? Paula? Why bring this topic? Is that why we came here? Don't be angry. I know that this topic torments you a lot. But your mom called me, and with the tone in which she spoke got me worried. She begged me to ask for the reason why you don't want to get married. My mom? You could have given her any excuse to avoid further interrogations from her. You know your mom, she doesn't accept excuses. I know how desperate my mom is, but you need to cover up for me sometimes. She has been giving me headaches. For her, it is my marriage or giving birth that she is looking forward to. At times I feel guilty for not doing the one thing they desire. But the issue is, I don't own my life, I have given it all to God. He controls all the affairs of my life. And I am waiting for His will. I understand you perfectly, Diana. I really hope for the best. I have called the cab, it will be here soon. Sorry for the inconvenience and thank you too, my car is still with a mechanic. 
I think it will be ready by tomorrow. Don't worry, I am glad to be of help. Welcome Sister Diana. Thank you, Pastor. On behalf of the church, I want to thank you for voluntarily leading the youth for the outreach. I also heard you sponsored the trip. God bless you, my daughter. You don't need to thank me, Pastor. We are all doing our Father's work. I am glad I did it, it makes me happy. That is good to hear. You wanted us to talk about something, what is it? Pastor, it is about my marital issue. What about it? Pressure is coming from everywhere I find myself. There is pressure from home, among my friends, and even my workplace. The only thing I hold on to now is the Word of God. I don't know what to do anymore. Sister Diana, I know how you feel. But I will admonish you to trust in the Lord at all times. Pour out your heart before Him, because He is our refuge. People outside most at times have the outermost views on what is going on behind closed doors in your life. You see, the Lord knows best. It is better to take refuge in the Lord, rather than trust the judgment of others. This matter is very important and crucial at this juncture of your life. Do not let the words of others get to you. You cannot afford to miss the will of God, because of what you hear. Sister Diana, I want to know if you have in particular heard anything from God as at now. No pastor, I have personally fasted and prayed about this over and over and over, but all I hear is wait. So, I am still in the waiting room. And I believe you are waiting. All you need to do now is to commit your way. Trust in him, and he will act. It is written in Psalm 37 verse 7, that be still in the Lord and wait patiently for him. He has started what he has installed for you. I know in the end he will make everything beautiful and it will make people marvel and wonder. Thank you, Pastor. I feel relieved. You have really helped in clearing a lot of the burden that was bugging me. Thank you so much. We give all the glory to God Most High. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you for the life of my dear sister Diana. Thank you for giving her the understanding she needed and also lifting up the burdens that she once carried. Lord God, make things right in your own perfect time. Lord God I pray you give her a better half. Amen. Amen. Lord guide and protect her. I thank you for an answered prayer. Amen, Pastor, I will take my leave now. Please greet Mummy and the children for me. They will certainly hear. Mr. Businessman, the number one bachelor in town. How are you? I'm fine bro what about your side? I am fine as well. The last time we met, you promised we would see each other again the following week. But it has been four weeks now. My guy, you can lie. Sorry my friend. You know how busy I am, making money. Well, you are right my friend and because of that, you have refused to get married. I have been married for three years now. So when are you going to get married? That reminds me, how is our wife? She is certainly doing well. I am still taking time to find the right woman. I want a woman who is just like me, rich. You know most women nowadays are lazy, but they want rich men like us. Just to demand things they cannot afford themselves. Those women will only be accepted into my house to become maidservants. I am looking for an independent lady. Up till now haven't you found one yet? Well, I guess I met one during one of my business trips. Wow, who could that be? You won't believe your ears when I tell you who she is. Says who? Then let me tell you. It is Miss Diana Nigella of Nigella's Company Limited. She is one of the most beautiful and richest spinsters in the country. Collins, are you sure of the name you just mentioned? I warned you. Miss Diana. Wow, I can't believe it. So how did your conversation end? You rashed too much. We didn't go that far. The bait must be placed well on the fishing net before it can attract the fish. You know what I mean, right? I trust you. But everybody in this country knows that this lady is a hard one. 
How do you intend to trap her in your net? Though she is a little reluctant to go out with me, I always have my way. She might be difficult but nothing is too hard for Collins the do boss. I will win her over very soon. I pray your tricks work this time too. You know, you never take any woman seriously. Especially Christians, I hope she is not one. I don't think she is. Even if she is, I get what I want all the time. It is as simple as that. I need to leave now, my wife is waiting for me at home. You see the reason why I don't want to marry. Marriage has taken your private life away for good. You will always share it with her. Ah, you no longer stay out for long. Always rushing home for this or that. No more ladies, and you have reduced your intake of alcohol. I am single and I am enjoying life. That is the part you are missing, there is a lot of happiness when you marry the right person. Through my dear Sandra, I have stopped chasing after the reckless lifestyle that I once lived. So, what are you trying to say? Am I living a reckless life? Well, if you say so. I got to run. This guy must be very stupid for saying that. Nonsense, what is wrong with spending the money you sweat to make? I can choose to enjoy myself with the money I make. Now I need to concentrate on how to get that woman for myself. After all, life is not all that complex and it is very short. You get one. You have your way with her, and then you do away with her then you move on. Where is our daughter? She might be in the kitchen. Let me call her. Diana, you are still here. Are you busy? No mum, I just finished washing the dishes. Well done, this should have taken place in your husband's house. Anyway, your dad wants to see you. Okay, mum, I will join you soon. Dad, you wanted to see me. Yes. Diana. Your mom and I have been contemplating on how to get you a man to marry. I have a lot of friends who also are worried about their bachelor sons. Dad, I am sorry for interrupting. I know where you are heading. Please Dad and Mom, can you spare me for today? I seem not to have a place of rest anymore. It's like, I can't run from this topic wherever I find myself. There is no peace for me anymore. Diana, don't talk like that. You know your dad and I are only worried and concerned. Just listen to your dad. Dear daughter, I understand you perfectly well. But listen, you are not growing any younger. Since you took a break from work to come and visit. Your mom and I have planned a blind date for you. What? Blind date? I am not going. You will, Diana, we are doing this all for you. Starting from tomorrow, you will be meeting five prestigious men for two days straight. But mom, I came home to rest. No buts, Diana. Please do this for us, at least it will make us happy. And who knows, your husband might be one of them. I will soon join my ancestors. My greatest wish is to see your children before I die. Don't say that, Dad. You won't die that easily. Promise you will go. Okay, I promise. How are you, Miss Diana? I am fine, and you? Same here. Let me go straight to the point. From the day my dad showed me your picture, I fell in love with you. Really? That was a quick one. Yes, so when are we going to get married? I will think about it and give you an answer later. I came from London last week when my dad told me about you. Wow, you came because of me? Thank you. Yes, although I am a busy man, still found time for you, dear. So how busy can you be? I work in my firm, so I come home once every two weeks. And I travel a lot at least every week. You don't say. You look very beautiful in person. Thank you, I get that a lot. How many children do you intend to have? Well, I haven't thought about it that much. How about you? 
My mom had eight children, so I intend to have ten to make her happy. Oh, wow. My mom said you are very intelligent and you will make a good wife too. What do you also say? Whatever my mom says is right. I always listen to my mom. So how did you get to know me? Well, my mom is friends with your mom. My mom always talks about you. Okay, what do you do for a living? I own a pharmaceutical company and a rubber factory. They are all in my mother's name. And I don't intend to change my will. What? You look familiar. Have we met before? Yes, I am Mr. Collins of Transit Oil Company. Oh wow, nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you too. So, what are you doing here? The same reason you are here. Really? Are you saying you are my last date before I close this chapter? Well maybe. My uncle is on my neck, he thinks marrying is the best thing to do since I am the only child of my parent before they had a plane crash. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. You don't have to. It happened years ago, so I am fine now. What do you say if we go to a different place? I thought of retiring, I am so tired. I think we will have to postpone our meeting, if you will agree. That's fine by me. Only if you will allow me to drive you home since you are tired. What about your car, who will drive it? Oh that, I didn't come with my car. You don't have to worry, I can manage. I insist on driving you home. Okay, thank you. Miss Diana. You can just call me Diana. Okay, Diana, we are here. Oh yeah, my house. Would you like to come in for a cup of coffee? No. Maybe some other time. Before you leave, I would like you to tell me a little about your family. In the car? Yeah. Okay, if you say so. My parents are still married with six children including me. Five boys and I. They are all married excluding me. And so you can imagine the pressure. So what are you waiting for? I am still waiting for the will of God. Are you a sister in Christ? Yes, I am. Hallelujah, wow. I am also a brother too. Wow, really? It never occurred to me. I am amazed to see such a young and handsome guy like you, love God. Yeah, I get that a lot. I am a committed and devoted Christian. I truly love God and I hope to meet a mature and God-fearing woman, just like you to marry. So, will you marry me then? Well, I would like to pray to God about it before I decide. Okay. That wouldn't be a problem as I will be doing the same. Take all the time you need to pray and think about it. Thank you for bringing me home. Okay, see you soon. Okay, see you soon. Mom and Dad, what are you doing in my room? What time is it? Is it late? What's with all these questions? We are sorry to have startled you. We are here for yesterday's gist. Gist? Aren't you too old for that? Says who? We are listening. Can both of you wait for me in the living room? I want to freshen up. Yeah, sure. You are excused. Ah, uh, these people are going to kill me when they get to know that, I don't like any of them. Mum and Dad, what were you saying? Dear daughter, we want to know the outcome of yesterday's arrangements. Yes, that's all. Well... I don't see my husband in any of them. The truth is that I went there against my own will. 
I did this for both of you because you insisted I do so. I am sorry. Dear daughter, I can feel your pain. We just don't want you to feel lonely and in solitude. We know how you value an affirmation from God. And we also know that you don't want to miss the will of God. It's all good, but keep this in mind, you are not getting any younger. Don't wait for too long. Yes, Dad, I hear. I want both of you to know that I love you so much. And also, I will leave this afternoon. So soon? Yes, I have an important meeting to attend to. It came impromptu. Well, we wish you a safe journey back home. Thank you so much. Hello Diana, how have you been? Please, do I know you somewhere? I am Bertha, don't you remember me? From Boston University. We were course mates. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. I remember now. When did you relocate here? I relocated a year ago. So how are your husband and children? I am not married. Really? Why? Are you not interested in marrying? Oh no, it is not what you think. How about your family, how are they? They are doing very well, I am married with three adorable kids in a beautiful home, you know. Have you heard that Anita is getting married next month? The first year student who always came to us, when she needed direction to a place. Really? Wow, that is amazing. I am so happy for her. I am going to show up when I receive the invite. Oh sure, I will certainly let her know that you are around. But on a more serious note, I think you need to settle down. All our mates are married, even I. I am still wondering why you haven't married. I will at the right time. I heard you owe one of the biggest companies in this country. You have it all so please, do well and settle down. Okay, I hear. I was on my way home, I think we should meet and talk some other time. Yeah sure. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>